Welcome everybody to this guide of boss tactics. This is a guide for raid leaders. So I think we should start right now to show you what you can do with boss tactics if you are a raid leader. First of all we choose an instance which opens the basic view you need to explain the tactics of this boss. You can choose all the bosses you like but we start with um, this one here. So. At the beginning you should start a session if you want people to see what you are doing on this map um, because it connects the people to you. And then they will see if you drag and drop the buttons, if you name a button or if you remove it. Or finally if you add new buttons. You can just add new buttons and name them nothing or you can name them just if you like to do it. Yeah, this is basically what you can do with the buttons. You can even don't drag them outside of this map for sure because they belong to this map. Another thing you can do is pinging on this map by just clicking somewhere not on buttons which can help you as well and with this toggle button you can say I want to paint and draw nice little images on this map. If you want to remove those images click just on that button and they will disappear again. This is um, basically what you do if you are in a session and I think I should keep it for now for that. If someone gets out of sync in your raid, you will get a message here. If that happens, you can resynchronize all the people by clicking on this button and they will be back to your screen as well. But I want to close this session now and show you what else you can do. This will be most likely in this um, raid leader button because there you get all the stuff you can choose and I want to start with the raid leader messages. This is connected to this frame here. Every line you put in here will be a line in the raid frame so if you send the message you will get it as an output of the raid leader um, right out here. So this is basically how you can tell standard messages to your raid if you like to. If you choose get versions this is here updated and shows you in the status of all your ma raid members connecting to bus tactics which could be very helpful. Another thing is the three other possibilities you can choose. First of all I want to show you the raid leaders frame. Raid leaders could be possible all the people who are officers in your raid so they must be first permit, uh, permitted officer to um, appear in the choosable list. So we have two players here. The first is a player which is not in the raid because of that um, he is grey. You can remove it but then it will be removed forever until you have him or she back in the raid. Um, so I show it on this player because the player is in the raid. You can put it on the left to remove the rights and permissions of a raid leader for boss tactics and you give it back. If you choose this here um, it will be just saved for future raids um, and you don't have to set this all the time. So I save it and I think that's basically what you have to do if you want to have more raid leaders than just you which can help you and see the same as you have um, here on this frame. The next stuff is the task manager. It shall help you to assign tasks to your player which have special roles. For example the tanks or the healers are the most important. Sometimes melee and range DPS have also special tasks. So start with the tanks. You will have only tank classes here. So if we are for example use the this one you can just say tanks something, some boss or whatever and um, you can save it by clicking on this button and then you can post it to the raid and you will see that all the players see their assignments. In the healer view it's some kind of different. You first of all choose the healer and then you can choose all of your raid members who should be healed by this player. So for example it's um, RGS or it's Knali2. So this player has to heal two of them, everybody of them, um, and again you can post it to the raid. Post all, just post everything you have selected here so that all the players um, get this notice. 
The task man manager appears in a second uh, manner as well. If we look at these special buttons, which are only there um, if the boss has special stuff, and assign vehicle opens the task manager again, but in a different view because there you have demolisher siege engines and shoppers. So this helps you to assign people to all the um, vehicles in the fight. So if we choose a demolisher and say some of them should drive and this one should be the shooter and this one or no one should be in the cannon, you will get um, this output. And this works for all the other vehicles as well. But if we choose the next demolisher, you will see that there are less players again. Because you have only those to choose which are not yet assigned. Um, that makes you very easy to assign everybody in your raid. Because you have just to assign people to vehicles until no one is selectable. And then I want to show you the feature which all the task managers have. Um, it's the whisper feature because it said here whisper heal to get your assignment. Um, this was for the healers but we are now in the um, task manager for the vehicles. So I have to whisper to myself what do I have to do um, in the demolisher and then um, it will be said that I'm the shooter of the demolisher of this player. So you will get a clear answer what you have to do if you have forgotten it. But So this um, helps players to get them uh, their assignment back if they have forgotten it or didn't listen to you or whatever.